In this video, I'll show you how to print fit to page in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So I'll head over to my other sheet. This is just a list of books. So I'll start by going to the print preview. So we can see I have a small table and it'll pretty much just show up on one page. Right now, it's actually in two pages because I have it in portrait format. So I'll go to format page and change it to landscape by clicking this option. I'll choose OK. So now I just have one page because I have a small table. I'll close out of the print preview and I'll show you what happens when the table is wider, more than what can fit on one page. Here I'll just double my table with the same number of columns and rows. And then I'll also make it twice as long. All right, now let's go and take a look at the print preview. So here I have my original table, but really when I print it out, it'll be two pages because the table is quite wide and the extra columns will show up on the second page. So this is when I want to print fit to page. I want to conserve paper and I don't really mind that the text in my table becomes very small. So the, the way to do that is go to format, choose page style, and under sheet, here's a section called scale. In the pull down, I'll choose shrink print ranges to width slash height. And here the tooltip tells me I can put in the maximum number of pages I want it to be. In this case it's horizontal. The next option is for vertical stacking. So I just want the width of my table all fit into the size of one sheet of paper. For height I'll leave it as one also. And I'll choose OK. So that did the trick. Everything in my table in terms of the number of columns and number of rows are all showing up on only one page when I then if I'm satisfied with how this looks I can go ahead and go to print and it'll bring up the print dialog where I could print to a physical piece of paper or I could print to PDF. Now what if my table had a lot more rows, maybe hundreds or thousands of rows. In that case, I don't really want to fit it on one sheet, otherwise I really can't read what's going on. So I would recommend that we'll change the height pages here. Instead of forcing it to just be one page for my hundreds of rows, I'll uncheck this option so that the number of rows can just go to several pages as needed. And Calc will figure that out. So let's say if I had 200 rows, it might take up three sheets of paper, but at least all of my columns appear on the sheet. You might notice that in my table here, the last three columns are very narrow. That's because I did not resize it. But in your case, you can make the columns wider or more narrow as necessary. But I recommend you can go back into the page style dialog here and try out different options and you can always either undo it or change it back to how it was and keep checking the print preview until you're satisfied with what it looks like. So that's it for today's quick tip. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to learn, feel free to mention it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay nifty.